Hey everyone, we're going to be doing a guitar lesson on Crash My Car. And first, let's start with the tuning. Uh, we're in drop C sharp, so you tune your entire guitar down one half step. So you've got, um, and then you drop this the E string down to like you would for drop D. So it's C sharp, A flat. C sharp, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Um, so you can, you know, do uh, drop D sounding stuff. So let's start with the hook of the song. We're going to go up to the ninth fret on our B string, and we're going to be doing a hammer on between the nine and the ten. Hammer on and pull off. And then we're going to go between our 11th fret and 9th fret on the G string and the B string. So it's going to go like this. That's kind of the movement for the whole hook, so it sounds like this. And it's the same kind of shape, except a whole step hammer on and pull off on the G string. back and forth between the 11th fret and the 9th fret on the D string and the G string. So it sounds like this. Up close, that's like this. That's played pretty quick, and if you play it uh, kind of staccato sounding, you'll kind of get the vibe right. And then if you flip to your neck pickup and put on an octave divider, kind of get the vibe that, that's on the record. That kind of thing. So that's kind of the main hook of the song. That kind of comes and goes throughout the song. Uh, and then the chords that go behind that are, uh, we start on our A. Which remember we're dropped um, in our drop D kind of position. So 7th fret is kind of our A. And we're going to hold uh, the G string here with all these chords. So that's A. Then we're gonna go down to the B or to the uh, E, sorry, on the second fret, and then the B, and then our D. So it's gonna sound like this. And then uh, the second time through the chorus. In the second half of the chorus, instead of starting on the A here, you're going to start on the 4th fret, which is our F sharp. And then the E, then the B, and then our D. So the whole chorus kind of sounds like this. So that's kind of the intro to the song with the lick played over it. And then uh, the first verse, chuggy guitars, it's going to be our F sharp, our B, and our open D sounds like this. Again, that's our F sharp here on the 4th fret, and then our B power chord, and then our open D. And then we go to a pre-chorus, which you go all the way up to the 9th fret here on the A string, and you're going to make your 
minor bar chord shape. And we're going to be uh, moving our middle finger on and off uh, to create the chord change. That's our minor third that's going to come on and off, so it sounds like this. So that's how we play that pre-chorus. And then we get back into the chorus. And then the second verse is different than the first. Um, it plays a little riff. Um, goes from the A string on the ninth fret. Down to the seven. Down to the five. Down to the four. And then go up to the E string. The fourth fret. Second fret. And then open. So. guitar doing like there's a the second guitar doing this high octave here on the 11th fret and the 14th fret between the D string and the B string that just kind of goes like this and then the pre-chorus is the same And then we get back into our chorus. And then the top of the bridge is just a bunch of guitar noise. Stuff like that. Uh, and then the riff kicks in, and the riff starts on the 12th fret on the E string. And you're just going to go back and forth. We're just going to go... Just do kind of a, a pull-off kind of vibe between the 12th fret and the open note. And then you're going to bounce down to the 2nd fret, which is our E. So it's going to be like this. trick is to do those slides in between there to make it sound right and then the second half of that chorus riff it's just between the um, ninth fret and the seventh fret and with the open string in between that might be doubled yeah, you accent that last one. I'm pretty sure on the record we did some octaves there too. Between the E string and the D string. Doing this kind of shape. That kind of thing. And then it goes back to the hook. for the break, and then it's a double chorus, maybe triple chorus at the end. And then at the end of the song, you just uh, play the lick a bunch of times. And then it ends on our A here, on the seventh fret. With a couple whole notes. And then a hard stop with the drums. And that's it. Enjoy. Happy jamming.